We've done a lot of things on this channel in the name of spectacle, but nothing, nothing as reckless as what we're about to attempt. We've done many challenges. We've been to all four parks in one day. We've done all the rides and attractions here in the Magic Kingdom most recently. But there's one thing that we haven't done. There's one thing I don't know if anybody's done because it's stupid. Today's Disney Parks Challenge brings us into Fantasyland and up to one of the most divisive attractions, maybe of all time. That's right, love it or hate it, it's a small world, has been here in the Magic Kingdom since the beginning, and in the world even before that. Made Guy in its original debut at the 1964 World's Fair, and then eventually entering Disneyland as a permanent fixture of the Fantasyland there, before becoming one here at the Walt Disney World Resort. The attraction here in the Magic Kingdom is a 12-minute water ride filled with hundreds of audio animatronic dolls and a love it or hate it theme song written by the Sherman Brothers. So that brings us to the gimmick of today. How are we gonna waste an entire day at the Magic Kingdom? Well, we're gonna do it here on It's a Small World. We're gonna ride it as much as we can mentally, physically, and emotionally take it. Today, we are going to discover just how much the human body, the human psyche, the human spirit in general can take. We're gonna find the best, or we are gonna find the worst in It's a Small World. Whew. Our journey begins now. All right, here we go. my name? That's a... Uh, that's a good thing, right? Right? It's a very nice, very lovely attraction. I like the song for the most part, and I enjoy this attraction. I've been on it many times. One at a time. This is a bad idea. Alright, so the first ride is complete. And now, doing something you've never done before. Get it right back in line. Wait time has increased quite a bit. And just as soon as we got off, we are back on. For safety, please remain seated throughout your voyage, keeping your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the boat. And please watch your children. Thank you.
doing some cleaning procedures that has extended the length of our wait time right now. I was just checking the wait times at Space Mountain right now. It's five minute wait to walk on. But for some reason, we're waiting in the 30 minute small world line for the third time. For the most part, I think I'm doing okay. I'm in a good headspace mentally. I'm definitely, definitely not on the verge of some kind of descent or emotional collapse. Definitely not. My darling, the voyage continues. We've only just set sail for our third rotation around the world, and while the Marquis suggests smallness, darling, the world is vast. And yet I've already experienced so much. I witnessed the gallant soldiers of Britain drumming in perfect unison. I looked up to see elegant kites soaring to great heights upon a Japanese breeze. I even observed the children of Polynesia dancing in the flames of active volcanoes. No. No, wait, that can't be right. I've seen it all, darling, over and again and again. It's true, the journey was familiar to me at the start, but it's different today, you know? The anthem, dear, of It's a Small World, it contains many notes, yet the ride itself may only be one. It's a small world after all, they sing. Perhaps it's just a small world once, and then it's a small world forever. And ever. And eventually, you just get lost in the wake. The river is perpetual, and when we meet its seeming end, we just begin again. It's a small world, and I'm afraid it's getting smaller on every rotation. Smaller and smaller. Smaller still. How long before the river rises or the walls close in and crush me? What in the world have I committed to? What is to become of this. I trailed off, darling, forgive me. These concerns are of little threat or worry to me. The rest of this quest will surely be prompt and ordinary. My strength is strong, my spirits are up, and I think of you often. Always, your cherry on top. Okay, it's getting a little repetitive. Oh, Hmm, man, this song is very repetitive, but it's okay. It's okay. We'll just tune it out. Just tune it out. Make it silent. Silence. Yes. That's it. Old Man River, that old man river, he don't say nothing, but he must say something, he just keeps rolling, he keeps on rolling. Leave this place. Now! For your safety, please remain seated throughout your voyage, keeping your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the boat, and please watch your children. My beloved, 
How I miss you so. Against hazy memory, I try to recall your face. Or even the morning. The sky was blue then, was it not? Peppered with lovely clouds and powerful possibility. I was young then. Time meant something then. I suppose you know I accepted this mission with the thrill of discovery in mind to see the world and know new places to learn the ways of other nations, but I've become increasingly frightened that I may have seen it all. My darling, surely there is nothing left to see here. These children and their incessant singing over and over the shouting melody persists. It's a world of laughter, a world of tears, hope and fears. Fears, fears, fears! There are smiles on the surface, but shady figures lurk in every direction. I grow untrusting of the ducks on each revolution. They speak in riddles I cannot understand. The diamond-eyed clowns are always watching from above. They cackle over me, taunting me silently. The children themselves, many of them chant without even moving their faces. What trickery is this? What has happened here? I have concern that something may be controlling them, controlling them all, a mastermind. <gasps> it's him. It's the hippo. He's always there, staring at me. His eyes glow with the intensity of a burning tiki torch factory. His eyes twitch violently, knowing the ruin he causes, haunted by the truth that it's far too late for him to atone. He's responsible for this. I can feel it. His motives are sinister, and they have no place here. He knows my name for certain. He knows what I did. I am unnerved. <sighs> I'm sorry, darling. I mean not to worry you, but should you not hear from me again by sunrise, send help and know it was the hippo. Always your strawberry sugar coat. like a temp agent. He is a temp agent. He owns a temp agency. People really love him and he loves people. He, you know, it's Wednesday and everybody works on a Wednesday and then everybody says I'm along with him. And then, I don't think it was spontaneous. His character's name is Dave. And the movie, the movie is called Dave. So let me, back, let, me back, let me back up a little bit. So the president, President Bill Mitchell, is also played by Kevin Klein. Double until the Secret Service then they show up at Dave's house. They're saying, like, he was singing and it catches him off guard. It's, it's, a, it's a funny bit, but uh, he's like, I love you, God bless America. It's, it's, a, it's a sweet bit. But during this, as this is happening, as he's going home, the actual president, the real president, Bill Mitchell, actually suffers a stroke scheme, really, of how they're going to trick the public into thinking Dave is the president, and then eventually they'll be able to see one of themselves in the presidential role. It's, uh, it's a little complicated, but it's just, they have a plan. With the first lady, that's a big passion for her, is the homeless and serving the homeless, and so, uh, they go together. He loves it, and they want, they like try to click, and he, he sends them off because he's not about the he's not about the his image. He's about being genuine with the people. And and the first lady funding for the homeless shelter, the whole homeless program for the country, six hundred and fifty million dollars. And Dave is like, why did we do that? So the first lady comes in on him on the shower, and he's like, why did you do that? And he's like, I didn't do that. And then he went back, and he's like, why did you do that? And the chief of staff, and he's like, I make the rules. They put this little scheme on the vice president made him appear mentally unstable. And he shows up and says, hey, why'd you do that? And he's like, I didn't do that. And Dave goes home. Oh, and there's this whole Secret Service agent who at the beginning, Dave is like, hey, would you take a bullet for the president? Would you really do that? And the Secret Service guy says, yeah, I would. And then he's like, would you take a bullet for me? And then he's like, oh. But then at the end of the movie, they're sort of bonded more. They're, they're connected. And, and that's when he's like, hey, before he, before he leaves, before they part ways at the end, he says, hey, I would take a bullet for it. And it's like a tearjerker moment, and Dave smiles. He keeps trying to tell me goodbye. He wants me to leave. The ride wants me to leave. But I'm not going anywhere.
open. Hold again. That's the sailor's way. So the, so the danger, danger must, must be growing. growing. Are the, the eyes of hippos glowing? glowing? Is this, this route we float worth towing? Yes, yes, the, the danger, danger must be growing, for the children keep on growing. growing. And, they're and they're certainly not, not showing, showing any, any signs, signs that, that they, they are, are slowing! slowing. <laughs> My beloved, I don't know how much more of this I can bear. The troops merge into a sea of nothingness. I may be on the verge of forfeit. <coughs> I'm tired. <coughs> I'm weak. I have little strength, no will left to give, but I must go on, must I not? Or was all this for nothing? What have I gained? Le opzioni nel Magic Kingdom erano immense. Avrei potuto passare la mia giornata con pirati o presidente o minatore di diamanti corti. O anche con una semplice famiglia americana sempre all'avanguardia della commodità della General Electrica. Ma no. Le ho passate ovunque in questo piccolo mondo. Nelle Americhe, in Europa, in Asia, ovunque. Molto diverse, ognuno di loro, ma la stessa canzone le noce. Aha, una realizzazione. 
Este pequeño mundo es popari. Tal vez este viaje es un gran reto a propósito. Este paseo es muy sencillo y dulce en casi todos los sentidos. Lleno de formas y colores maravillosos. Mientras que se encuentra a solo unos pasos del Peter Pan's Flight, pero está aquí. Está aquí, flotando en estos botes donde realmente podemos volar. Podemos seguir adelante con un sentido duradero de hermanidad sincera y alcanzable y conocer su pequeño mundo después de todo. Este viaje es profundo y como un dulce de agua salada me ha servido mucho. Con el canto de muchos idiomas, los niños presentan algo completamente hermoso. Quelque chose de forme de fragile, quelque chose de insoportable. Me donderot, y nie que lune soledor. Me eti la, y era, y el son le mem dan a siguel por tute la humanete. Nos dos dan se petimon. Ecoute moi, je parle francés. Mim si la langue ne pa represente dan se manege. O como la manege funcione misterios man. Perhaps it's more than just a ride. Perhaps it can be more than just a thoughtful boat trip, a hearty stone's throw from Mickey's Phil our Magic. Yes, it's a challenge to love one another, but like the children, we can do it. Tender and wholeheartedly. It's a small world is bigger than me, darling. It's bigger than you. This whole thing is possible, is it not? I think I get it now. I think... Yes, I think I quite like it now. I'd normally be reluctant to extend my excursion, but my darling, this whole experience has just become so transcendently wonderful to me. Perhaps... Yes, perhaps... I'll stay here a while. <laughs> Always, your meandering mulberry bush. And so, that's how we spent the day today. I don't know what else to say. We wasted the day. You know what? I don't mind it's a small world. It's a nice little attraction. Maybe just once or twice a day. We went overboard. And so now you know. I don't know what kind of challenge we're going to do next. I have no desire to beat the record we set today. Yeah. So, uh... I think I'm going home. And until next time, we'll see you in the happy place. Bye! Real quick, I'm gonna need a country bear cooled off.